Welcome to Hollywood Makeover, the real information show for independent filmmakers, young and old. Welcome to another edition of Hollywood Makeover. I'm your host, Rashawn McCray. Today, we're going to talk about set dressing and how to use a budget and make sure that your independent film looks like a multi-million dollar picture. We're going to be at Ultimate Consignment today talking with owner Brian Lesk about how important it is to dress your set and do it in budget. Brian. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Thank you guys for coming. All right, Brian. So I need you to tell me a little bit about Ultimate Consignment, because this is the ultimate place to find everything you could ever need for independent filmmaking and on a budget. Yeah, you can source pretty much anything here. Wow. Um, it's, it's the largest consignment <laughs> store probably in the world. Right. And what we've put together here is a, a group of 175,000 items. It's a lot. Yeah, we put in five, six, seven hundred new items every single day and thousands of items every week. And for the um, independent filmmaker on a budget, it gives them just a vast array of, of can be old collectible stuff. It could be new, unique items. Can be art, or it depends upon what the what the film's all about. It also allows them to come down, um, buy those items, use those items in their film, and when they're done with those items, bring them back, consign them to us and we'll resell those items, thus even lowering their budget even, even more. So you guys deal a lot with people who do independent films. I mean, this is something that you source all the time to people all over the country. I we know do. that you can send things places and people can get what they need. We do. Tell me about the experts here that can help everyone out. Well, uh, I'm going to bring in someone right now who's a little bit more expert than I am. All right. uh, I'm going to bring in Don Dunham. Hi, how Dawn? are you today? Hi, Don. Nice to meet you. All right, Welcome so you're going to take me around this awesome place, right? I'd love to. All right, everything is organized into sections. And so this is our tool section. Okay. These are our various toolboxes that we have. So right. as you can see, we have every shape, color, sizes. Being that you are the professional that you are, would you say <laughs> that it's cheaper here than like buying stuff retail and taking it back? Because a lot of people do that. They'll leave stuff tags on and try and bring it back. But if it breaks or it gets ruined right. or it gets scuffed, you can't right. take it back. And you're stuck. The great thing about what we're doing here at Ultimate yeah. Consignment is you can bring, you can buy the item, you can utilize it, you can bring it right back. We will resell it for you, and then you will get a portion of those sales back. Amazing. Right. All right, so I just want to know how much this is so we can move on to find Perfect. more tools. Perfect. So all I need to do is look at the ID number. Yeah. And I enter it in. Yeah. And this item is... Five dollars. Five bucks? Yes. I think that fits in my budget. I think it does too. Let's okay. add it to the list. Let's find some more tools. Great. Let's go. Cool. So this is a really great deal, but I still need to decorate a living room scene for our film. So can you okay. help me find some stuff to decorate a living room with? Sure. Let's go to home decor. Okay. Well, this section of home decor, you're going to find a lot of things that are just different and very individual. So we can really find some cool things for your set. All of our lamps are here. So you have floor lamps that all different shapes and sizes and colors. And then you get some different varieties as well, and it just is more noticeable. Right. Perfect. Now we need some, like, paintings. Can paintings. You, can you take me to pictures and paintings? Sure. Because that's a really get, great way to dress a wall. Again, like okay. the, the plants are good because it fills space. The lamps, you can either choose one for, you know, either floor or one that will sit on something. And then if you use paintings, you can dress walls. Most are displayed here on the wall. So we have all types. We have tapestries. We have colorful paintings that are a lot larger. Native American prints, um, canvas paintings and all shapes and sizes. And so, as you can see, there's just such a wide variety that you can just choose what you want and what motif you're looking for. But even something like this, I mean, this you've got nice. a wrought iron. I mean, yes. this would take up, you could do it sideways, you could do it up and down. Right. You could you could even make it look like a door if you needed to do something for a door. I mean, the, the, really the options are endless. Right. And I think the key with dressing a set is making sure that it's not distracting, but that it's visually interesting as well. Right, and it's versatile. And you can use it for several different things, several different sets bookcases, desks, different tables, chairs. For example, like these chairs. So you could utilize these chairs in an office scene, mm -hmm. um, a waiting room scene, on, and even a dining room table scene. So, you know, you can utilize them in different ways. Right, I mean, that's a really good point because we want it to look good. And really your audience is not going to notice if mm -hmm. you've duplicated pieces, as long as you're strategic as where you put them. Right. It's also important why you do your storyboards and your script first, because then you can, 
strategically place where you got everything rather than go and buy a bunch of stuff that you don't need or that you can't utilize. So one thing I know a lot of people forget about is filling the small spaces. So if you have a right. cabinet mm -hmm. and you need something like a a box or a chest or something like that. Exactly. I think people really forget, but if you look here, a lot of things like this would be good for like a dresser scene mm -hmm. or if like you wanted to put this on a coffee table to make it look, because you want to make the set look as real as possible, but exactly. you don't need really fancy expensive things. I mean, something that's that's just like this would be fantastic right. to put, and you can even put some knickknacks on top of it, you mm -hmm. know, or, or it could look like this goes for coasters. I mean, Absolutely. I really think like for a living room, you could use any of this stuff that would go on on a shelf or on a coffee table, and I think it would go great. If it's not a big giant piece that's mm -hmm. a staple piece, you can actually reuse, like if you were to use, you know, a nice, like this, for example, this wooden box here. Right, like this, a treasure chest. Yeah, this treasure chest. I mean, you could use this on a coffee table, mm -hmm. and then if you have maybe a scene where you have to shoot in a bedroom, you could use that as a jewelry box. You could use it in a lot of different places. And I think that's one thing that you need to remember is recycling what you have on set. So pick out staple things and when you, when you purchase items, look at that and go, how many ways can I use that? And it makes your budget go that much further. Exactly. Thanks, Michelle. That information is really helpful, especially to our budding filmmakers. If you like today's show, please let us know by logging on to hollywoodmakeover.tv and posting a comment. Now we're going to move forward to a recap of this week's family film, Red Corvette. For a walk. Sure. A drug dealer? You can sell this in a week. Hey, bro. Who's this guy? Um, hey! What? She's with me. You with this guy? Yes, this guy. With the food on the table, had to come from somewhere. Gonna make it mine. The one. the one and only. The one and only. You want to do it? Yes. Give it to me. Sweet and tender nothing. Harder than stone. Buried in the sand. Pears out of nowhere. Once I'm off the ground, I'll be able to start a real business. You know, once you get there, everyone will know how you got there. Right? You're going about it the wrong way. I'll keep it on the down low. Nobody has to know. You'll know it, though. You wanna get out of here? Where do you wanna go? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
um, we could get Doug and Nancy and go to my parents' house. They're gone for the week. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's this? It's the cover for the car. I'm just taking it off so it doesn't fly off when we're driving. We're gonna take all day? No. Let's go. Hit the road. Nice, that's nice. What does your dad do? Oh, he buys and sells hotel resorts. Nice. Oh, oh Doug, you don't have to worry about that. Delbert, Delbert will take care of it. Del Delbert? Yeah. Delbert. Delbert. <laughs> Delbert. Yeah, he's our estate manager. Delbert. Been here 20 years, ain't that right, Delbert? Mindy, welcome <laughs> home. Your dad said you might be coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, these are my friends. This is Johnny, his friend Doug, and of course, Nancy. Well, come on in. Uh, you kids hungry? Yeah. I suppose I could rustle you up something. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Sounds good. And Dilbert, I'm digging the hat, bro. Where'd you get that? Dilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Love the hat. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to come out here and just sit for hours. Stare at the sky. Watch the stars. <laughs> I could definitely spend some more time out here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good, man. Better not for that. <laughs> Doug! <laughs> I'm Come out. <clears throat> I got the iron lung like this guy. <laughs> dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. I got it. I got it. Hey, Delbert. Hey, Mindy. <laughs> I put out a spread for uh, you and your friends. Oh, great. I'm Thanks gonna so. head home now. Thank if you, you need anything, uh, give me a call. All right. Otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. All right. Be safe. <laughs> His parents must hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <It's> right. <laughs> you know, it's pretty early. You guys want to do something? Maybe a party, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why not? Can you call some people up? Yeah. I can make some calls. Call some of your homies. <laughs> Don't work. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell him I like the sample. 
Ah, uh, Johnny. What's up, cowboy? What do you think? I love it. Good. So, how much you got? How much you need? Well, let's start out a little small, okay? How about about 40? Joints? No deal. Only sell by the pound. 40 pounds, not joints. Sure. Start small. 40 pounds, 40 grand. Yeah, let's do it. Get that number call in the morning. I'll get the money, name a drop site. We're good. Sounds good. All right, Toots, let's go. We're out of here. Take easy, buddy. Come here. Bye, Larry. Bye. <laughs> Sweet. That's almost all I have left. Sell the rest and I'm out. I think you've had enough. <laughs> hey, Mindy. Hey, Mindy. Hey. How you doing? Good. Oh, real good. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, yeah, it's nice out here. I like it a lot. I want you to meet some friends of mine. Um, Hey, Doug, Nancy, come here, come here. Oh, are these friends of yours from school? Yeah, yeah, we're actually on um, spring break right now. Oh, oh, that's real nice. Yeah. Good to take a break sometimes. Yeah. Um, This is my friend Randy. He owns the Hot Air Balloon Excursion Shop. Oh, nice cool. to meet you. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Well, maybe you'd like to come up sometime. Let me know. Yeah, that'd really? be really cool. <laughs> yeah, in fact, uh, how about tomorrow? That's, yeah. Oh, um, you know, that's great, Randy, but I just made plans for tomorrow. Oh, it's no problem at all. Uh, how about you two? Really? That'd be great. That's a great idea. Yes. Yes, you should do that. Yeah, um, hey, how about tomorrow evening, about 6 p.m.? That's perfect. Per perfect, yeah. Great, uh, Mindy can give you directions, I trust. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's <laughs> great. Hey, listen, Mindy, uh, listen, I've got some over here. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. So why don't you want to go up? It's going to be fun. I've been up a dozen times. Besides, I have this thing with Johnny tomorrow, so. But you know, You'll need a, uh, a four-wheel drive to be out there, so why don't you take my truck and we'll take your Ford. You want to you take my... <clears throat> mm. That, uh, yeah, I think that would be uh, uh, good. You sure you want to go with me? There'll be like 40 pounds of weed in the truck. He's not picking it up? You heard him. He wants it dropped off at the abandoned gas station off of 56. All of it? <laughs> well, I still want to go. I want to spend time with you. Well, I'm just looking out for you. Well, great then. I'm coming with.
Come on, hermano. You gotta let it fly. Look, like this. Stop it. Why are you so scared? I'm not. Come on, just go faster. You wanna go faster? Yeah. Let's go faster. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Let's go. Hey, give me that thing. It's really my concentration. <laughs> Where's the drop site? So it's at the abandoned gas station, right? Yeah. It's just up here. have weed in the trunk. We can't call an ambulance. What we gotta if, get out of here. What if they're not dead? What if there's something the doctors can do? We just, we, we can't just leave him. Fine. All right. I'll go over a payphone. I'll dial 911 so they can't trace the call. We have to go. We can't. We can't. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Yeah, I'd like to report an accident behind a uh, gas station. You'll need an ambulance. Sir, your name, please. No, I'd rather not get involved. Just send someone quick. Sergeant. Possible two eleven on a hit and run. Looks like the suspect is still in the area. Uh, I just sent a squad car out to Santa Rosa. Did you get tape on that? I did. Okay, log it, send it over, and get that car out there. Yes, sir. Good job. I can't believe this happened. Mindy, just forget about it.
Where can we drop the stuff? Rockets? What's Rockets? It's a pizza place back in town. Can you call him and tell him we need to change the drop to Rockets? Talk to me. Larry. Hey, what's up? We couldn't make the drop where you wanted. There were some complications, so um, we're gonna leave it at Rockets um, behind the dumpster. You better get there fast, because we're not gonna be responsible for it. All right, well, it better be there. Good? He just wants the stuff. How are we going to fix this? I don't know. Let's just put the cover on and get out of here. Cliffhanger today, guys, but you'll just have to tune in same time next week to find out what happens. Remember, all you need is a great script and a solid team of cast and crew to help you see it through till the end. I'm Sedona Fredo. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't change the channel.